Well, not even going to start this one off with the normal, normal saying. Um, I know it ain't going to be good. Uh, the only thing that could save this is there is no braking zone with this car. Uh, this is essentially Talladega Martinsville. Uh, there's so much grip, and you just you just drive it in as hard as you can, and hit the brakes a little bit, and rotate around. It's just so weird. But we got 45 laps, no cautions, fixed setup, and uh, 15 cars on track. So that'll be fun. Um, yeah, not sure how it's going to go, but you might get wrecked for 14th. Who knows? We'll just go have fun, or try to have fun, and uh, then uh, post it up and call it good for today, because storms are starting to build. Luckily, they got delayed, but now they're supposed to hit at midnight, which is going to be annoying. But yeah, this is just absolutely ridiculous how much grip this car has here. They're showing us the black flag. They caught it speeding on this road. We have a stop and go penalty. I mean, you're driving well into the concrete. Uh, it's just, and maybe that's the slow way. Maybe I'm being slow, but like, look at that. Never should have made the corner. Now what I suck at is arcing a corner. Which you really need here. But, uh, it's just gonna... Really, I mean, it's gonna be a lot of luck. But I think it's gonna be cleaner than normal just because there's no possible way to overdrive and run into the back of someone. So, that's just my thoughts. Uh, none of our laps are counting because... Well, it doesn't really matter because we were uh, almost next to last on speed there, but... Let's go qualify. No reason not to. Green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first time black. Cloud comes over, and that was not a good corner, but let's just try to go easy for the first one. It and see which one's quicker. One more lap. Twenty point zero eight six. I I can't. Like how quick I went in there, my brain just couldn't comprehend it at all. I I can't. Like it was so bad. And it and it turned. Like it wasn't going to be pretty, but it turned. Uh, so we hit an O, but the track is a lot cooler than practice, so... Uh, there's nines on the board at the moment. Hit box team, ten. Just finishing Five. up my lap. Three. Check it flag, check it flag. That rotated through that corner and then the nose shoved. Because I was... I was... Like, right there, we just pitch it hard left, and I'm like, oh shit, and I started counter-steering, and then, yeah. We still get through it okay, but then I'm too wide after hitting the curb there, and I just, we were gonna hit the wall. But with a little bit of skill and practice, you could really toss it in there. 
good news is we're still going to be at the back, so it's just going to be missing Rex, and uh, yeah, hopefully the sun comes out so that all these people that sit around and wait to do their lap later get a hotter track, just as punishment for making me wait. We're not too far off the rest of the field now, so that's good. Um, we're never going to be in the 8s and 9s. Maybe 9s, but 8s are not in my skill set. We've got four people that we're waiting on. They're all in here. At least one of them's on track. I don't know what the hell they're doing, though. They're just burning fuel off or something, waiting for a cloud. The clouds are gone now. Track temp's gone up. You screwed up. They'll still go out and go faster than me. That's why it's so dumb that people even wait. And we're sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting. Still the same four people have not completed their two laps. But laps are going on the board. One of them's done. Everyone else has done. So once these guys finish up their second laps, we can go race. One more to go. And we're racing. Sweet. We get everyone to do a lap. Maybe this will be a good race, other than me being slow. So... P12, but we don't have that far to go to where we should be, so uh, just got to keep it out of the mess. Not even worried about outside here. Uh, I don't think anyone can miss the corner and shove up the track. I just I don't see how it's possible unless they hit the curb. It's the only thing that I see could happen. Line up on the outside. Closed. Pit road is closed. <laughs> The estimated SOF is 4,085. <laughs> Tight field today. Look for opportunities. <laughs> Five cars left to grid. All right. Almost got everyone on the grid. Still waiting on two cars to grid. Waiting on the final car to grid. 50 seconds or one person gritting. What's it going to be? Are we going to sit and wait? Who is making us wait? Sixth place. Everyone's gritting. There we go. All right. Well, 45 laps at the worst track for online racing, but that's when you have a braking zone. I think it's going to be different for this. And all this crap I'm talking about, like not being able to overdrive an entry, and yeah, I'll probably be the first one to dump someone on entry because I overdrive it. Track temps went up a bit. Still got sun on the track. Let's just hope that we get a little bit of racing in. One left to green. Oh man, it's lots of blinking happening. We got some weaving and breaking and swerving going on. What's this going to be like? <clears throat> Good news is we're nine and a half minutes into the video, so if I get wrecked out on lap one, I can still post it. Don't want that, but... Okay, we're just massively hanging back on the outside line. Uh, 
Everyone dives to the inside. Fucking Martinsville. All right, well, we've got wheel damage. Oh, and a meatball, even though it's driving. Sweet. So we not only get wrecked, we have to pit now. Trying to uncheck everything. Gotta love this car. Let me guess, we're the only one with a meatball as well. Everyone else that was in that gets to continue on. It makes complete sense. Why wouldn't it happen that way? And they're probably done wrecking. We're done. Get going. Oh, we got one other. He's a lap down to us because he had to reset, I'm guessing. Or he took tires or something. Alright, well, now we get to drive around for a pointless 40 laps. now, so we're not dead last. Probably the best thing that happened to us, because they're not going to make up a lap or two on us. Just going to let this guy go, because there's absolutely no point in racing him, or anyone on track. I do not trust a single person on track. other wrecks yet. Should have just not qualified, backed off. Made sure we didn't start in front of anyone, let them wreck, then have a clean car. But thought we could get around the outside and then all of a sudden the 13 drives straight up the track, but he was probably getting hit by someone. see how you can wreck on lap one. Hopefully it was prediction code or something and not just someone being stupid because this is the most grip you can ever have in a stock car. Unrealistically grippy and uh, if you're wrecking, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe someone just clipped the curb and slid up. Or everyone tried to get to the bottom and is stacked up center of the corner, but that's still stupid when people try to dive down there.
could use this time to learn how to drive, but I'm just going to whine and do whatever, hopefully. I mean, everyone's so spread out now, no one else is going to wreck. So, we're just stuck here. One lap down. But we'll be two laps down by the end of it, I'm sure, because we're at the back of the field. Exactly what I thought. Too bad I had a reset that I could use rather than just ending it. It's just, it's so impossible to get a good race here. It happens, but it takes so many lucky bits to happen. Oh. Guy just spot ahead of us has wrecked somehow. That moves us to 12th. Right where we started. Leader seven seconds behind us. Nearly driving into the wall out of the corner. laps here. We're going to drive it like a regular race car and just go, how the hell do we have so much grip through the center? 20.651 So we've got two cars racing for a position and then a guy two laps down or three laps down right behind them. Is he going to get involved in it? Or is he just going to let him race? Because he should just let him race. But He's going to start taking a look down low. Slow car ahead call. Someone has turned or spun or got turned. All right. They might not be fully done wrecking yet. this guy go when he catches up to us because he's got a chance to catch the six. After him is the leader, five and a half seconds behind us. I'm just going to pull down low here. Car outside, 20.999. Outside, clear. Who knows, he could go up and wreck this guy. Get a couple of spots, but no need to uh, even attempt to race anyone else on track unless they're for position, because no cautions, so it doesn't matter if we go another lap down, it doesn't matter 
anything, really. Unless they're grayed out. No point in proving to anyone anything. Unless they're the person that wrecked us. Then we'll race them a little harder, but we honestly have no idea who the hell was the cause of that wreck. And they were up front, so we wouldn't have had speed to race them anyways if we were near them. But you shouldn't even do that. You should just be respectful and get out of the way as I think someone just got sent up the track by the guy that was multiple laps down. It could have just been the guy overreacting to a dive. side-by-side -side racing happening ahead, so possibly we'll get a wreck and some spots. So that's, we just have to cheer for that. No other options. Looks like they survive each other. Nine starts, or the six starts to blink a little bit. I want to back off a little bit away from this because it is going to be a battle for position, so we need to have some room to dodge it. Us being close is not going to affect if we get around them for position because we need them hard in the wall. Looked like that other battle was getting a little dicey, nose under the bumper on entry possibly. So, there is possibilities of wrecking. Leader 3.2 behind us. This is going to be a clean pass. The 6 hasn't really fought too hard, but... Uh, maybe not. I thought it was going to be a quick and easy one, but... No, it's over now. He'll back off here. He doesn't? Okay. Good news for us. Ah, now he backs off. No. Keeps looking like he is, but he hasn't. Are we going to get some hooking? It's not SRX. These cars don't randomly hook each other. I have no reason to pass this guy, so we're not. We're quicker than him, but there's no one behind us for position, so it'd be really dumb. We'll let the leaders go and get back in line, but there's no point in me passing this guy when he's got a possibility of positions ahead of him, even though they're pulling away from him. Plus, there's only, like, four laps left, so... Our chances of getting a good finish from wrecking are gone. We sadly got caught up in the first one. And got a meatball out of it. I have ordered spaghetti tonight because we've been having a lot of meatballs.
leader got the white flag behind us, so he will finish the race. One flag, one more left to go. And we don't have to worry about getting lapped again. And the first time we got lapped was because we were on pit road. Definitely could have had a top 10 because we're faster than this guy, but who knows how everyone's damage played out. Fun stuff. How did we end up? We got 8x. How did I get 8x? It's over. Okay, we'll get him next time. What am I forgetting? Car contact with the 14. Was it 4x? Oh, is that? I don't know why he was hanging back and then stopped. So, I don't even remember running into him there, but, uh, yeah, he just stops with five feet, or five cars in front of him to dive down low, and then the setup shop turns down across the 11, hooks him up, and wrecks everyone. Awesome. You can always count on a setup shop to just fucking turn left and wreck everyone on lap one. All right, what are you doing there? And he just pulls the 11 up the track and, of course, goes on to win the race because why not? What did we have? Do we have a chance to miss this that I didn't see? Or was the high side the only thing we could do? High side, and then, yeah, the 13 just gets driven up by the 9 into the wall. And I think that hit right there is what meatballed us. Or that one. That was a hard hit as well. One of the corners was screwed up. Thirteen gonna hit the wall. Fourteen's broken. Fifteen is downshifting. Okay. Six is headed for the wall, and that's probably why he was very slow at the end. Thirteen into the wall. Pretty hard into the wall. And then he just dumps the five. So he pinches the five. There's racing contact. And he just dumps him. Does he let him back past? Nope. And then the four dumps the five. Hmm. Interesting. Fifteen in the wall, and... Okay, so that's what happened. He was all over the place. Ten. Thirteen. Thirteen just sends him. I think that might have been an accident, but... Who knows? And there we go. A pointless 45 minutes of my life. Placed on YouTube for no reason. 
All right, 52 I rating lost, 25 safety rating lost. I'm going to go cook some spaghetti to go with all this meatball. Thanks for watching.